Look at this. That's her favorite spot on the couch. You know why that's her favorite spot? Because that's my spot. <laughs> Are you ready for some good news? First up, scientists in Georgia have developed a new fabric that generates electricity. The fabric was developed at the Georgia Tech School of Material Science and Engineering and is able to generate electricity two ways. Wool threads are interwoven with wire-shaped photoanodes which harvest sunlight. Plus, the fabric contains triboelectric nanogenerators which generate electrical power from mechanical motion. For their study, the Georgia Tech team used the fabric to construct a flag about the size of a sheet of copy paper and allowed the flag to blow in the wind as it was driven in a car with the windows rolled down, generating what they describe as a significant amount of electricity. The fabric could be used to make curtains, tents, or clothing, and the electricity it generates could be used to power smartphones, GPS, or other small electronic devices. The study is published in the journal Nature Energy. I do feel a bit bashful having decided to shoot this video during what is obviously bath time, but she doesn't seem to mind, so why should I? Up next, researchers at UCLA have successfully grown lung tissue in a lab using stem cells. Researchers at the Eli and Edith Broad Center of Regenerative Medicine and Stem Cell Research at UCLA coated hydrogel beads with stem cells derived from adult lung cells and placed the beads into small 7 millimeter diameter wells. As they grew, the lung cells linked together and formed a pattern similar to that of natural lung tissue. The result isn't a functioning lung, but more like a three-dimensional culture of lung tissue, which could prove very useful in studying and developing treatments for lung diseases like idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which has been very difficult to study using conventional two-dimensional cultures. The study is published in the journal Stem Cells Translational Medicine. If nothing else, at least we know that that right paw is going to be spotless. Is that the paw you eat with? Anyway, finally, here's some good news for people who suffer from ear infections. There could soon be a single dose treatment. Researchers at Boston Children's Hospital, Boston Medical Center, and Massachusetts Eye and Ear have collaborated on the development of an antibiotic gel that delivers a full course of treatment for middle ear infections in a single application. Middle ear infections affect 95% of children. Conventional treatment through oral antibiotics is effective, but can take over a week to clear the infection, and are often difficult to administer to young children. The gel is applied inside the ear canal. From there, it's able to safely penetrate the eardrum and deliver the antibiotic directly to the infected area. This means much smaller doses of antibiotics are needed to be effective. In an animal study, the gel proved to be more effective than eardrops, curing 10 out of 10 infections tested. The gel has been determined to be safe, and testing on human patients will begin within a few months. The paper on the antibiotic ear gel is published in the journal Science Translational Medicine. A new fabric uses wind and solar power to generate electricity. Researchers successfully grow 3D lung tissue in a lab, and there could soon be an antibiotic gel that can cure ear infections with a single treatment. <laughs> That's the good news. Hey folks, I don't think the cat gives a shit, but I sure do appreciate you watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.